Hey guys, Alex here, and we have a ton of money bet today. So I'm currently in Hoboken, New Jersey. So New Jersey is the home of sports betting in the US. They have tons of great sports books and we're taking advantage and we have a lot of plays. Um, sports betting, it really is my break for Mods Jam. So we'll go through all these bets today, why we like them. I'll try to keep the video relatively short, but all of these are mathematically profitable bets. And as we've said, we're posting these videos well before any of these games start, so you can check the timestamps, whatever. And the point is really just to just to show, even if we have down days, being a mathematically profitable sports better, looking for line discrepancies, we will win over the long run. Um, so we have a few different bet types. We have positive expected value bets, ARBs, promos, middles, and bonuses. I added in bonuses. So we have a few different bet types. So we'll be tracking our profit based on, you know, all of these different betting, you know, options, which you can see on Odds Jam under, you know, the betting tools page. So what we can do is we can dive in, go to our first bet. So the first bet we have is Bengals money line. We took that for a thousand bucks. That's next Sunday, minus 133 odds. Line started ripping towards the Bengals, and you can see right here. Uh, the lines actually came a bit back towards the Chargers, but you can see Pinnacle, sharpest bookmaker out there, is all the way down at minus 149. We picked up minus 133. So that is the first bet we took. And then we can keep going through. Washington football team plus 0.5 first half point spread. That's tonight, and that bet is on the score. Then we have some hockey line discrepancies. I was, I'm heavily limited on DraftKings, but you can see um, right here, we got in on some of these hockey line discrepancies. Jets minus two, minus 2.5, Pens minus one, plus 285. I wasn't quick enough to get in on all of them. We've said this a million times, sports betting really is a speed game, but we got down, you know, DraftKings gave us 2501 on Flames minus two at plus 320 odds. So Flames minus two, Pens minus one, Jets minus 2.5, that's hockey. Um, we can keep going down. So this is a free bet from Caesar Sportsbook. So in New Jersey, I'm not sure if it's in other states, they have a Black Friday match where if you deposit $100, which you can see right here, you receive an $100 free bet. So I deposited $100, I got an $100 free bet, and I put it on Penn's minus one Baylor Moneyline parlay. Then we have Pelican's Moneyline EV play for 500 bucks at plus 400 odds. Patriots over 20.5 first half point spread. Um, Fox bet for $1,000, that was plus 100 odds. We have in the Seahawks game tonight, over 44 half and over 45 on BetMGM, heavily limited, max bet size 122.01. Again, this is really just to show how limits can affect you as a sports better. Um, Canucks under six on BetMGM as well, minus 150 odds. We have the FanDuel promotion, which we discussed yesterday, first half parlay insurance. If one leg loses, then you get your money back. So actually, we should go through our profit from yesterday. So yesterday, we went down 291 bucks and 40 cents. So pretty awful first day, but we've said this a million times, like when you have the mathematical edge as a sports better, you shouldn't be concerned with your profit in one day. It's like a guy who goes to the casino, he plays the roulette wheel and he gets lucky, he wins $500 that night. The casino isn't worried about that guy. They know roulette, it's mathematically never gonna be possible to win at roulette. So the casino is just kind of like, well, he won $500 today, but we will win over the long run. It's the exact same viewpoint here in terms of sports betting. So we're down 291 bucks and 40 cents. Um, Devils minus 1.5 hit. You know, we can go through all these. You can look through them. All these plays again are posted before any of these games start. But what is interesting is for FanDuel, for the NHL parlay insurance, where if you lose one leg, you get your money back. We won three out of four legs. So FanDuel gave us $25 in bonus funds. In other words, we lost nothing, even though our parlay lost. Um, so we had under 6.5 goals parlay for Sharks, Flyers, Canucks, and Maple Leafs game. And the all three of them hit except for the Flyers one. So the Flyers one lost. So we lost one leg out of our parlay. So with FanDuel's promotion, NHL parlay insurance, we got our $25 back. So we lost one leg, we got our money back. 
um, which is pretty cool. And that's the advantage of taking, you know, advantage of these sports book promotions is if we would have just bet $25 on this parlay without the promotion, we would be down in another $25 here, right? We'd be down 315 bucks, but because of this promotion on FanDuel, we lose nothing. So we can continue to go down, um, and you can, you know, look through all the bets. So Sienna lost in overtime, you know, under 104 in Celtics Raptors. We lost by one. The Bucks, we got lucky with the Colts Bucks. Um, we won Colts first half money line, but we won Bucks money line, so that worked out. But um, anyways, we'll continue to go through everything. So we have this random parlay: Sabers plus 0.5 first period. Coyotes money line, Canucks money line, Pens plus 0.5 first period. All of these, you know, bets were the best odds were on FanDuel, which is why we added them to our promo for FanDuel, this NHL parlay insurance. Um, we have win bet. We have Jags plus 14 UTSA college football under 73 parlay. We have Jaguars plus 14 outright. We have a FanDuel odds boost. Pens and Coyotes plus 115. Um, it's boosted to plus 250 odds for a maximum bet size of $50. So we have that. We have another win bet positive expected value parlay. All the bets were found on the plus EV page. We can try to find them in here. Um, so we can go through and I'm trying to find the page. I tried to save some of them. So here was the Jaguars plus 14. That's why we took them. And uh, we can continue to go through, see if we can find um, the bet. So here we see UT Arlington versus UT Santa Barbara. Um, first half total points over 64 plus 105. Positive expected value bet with a profit margin of 4.93%, which is why we included it in our parlay. Um, UTSA versus Western Kentucky. We just said we had the under 73. This is where this came from. Just placing bets from the positive expected value page on odds jam that's all i'm doing and we're going to see the money tick up and up and up so we'll continue to go through and again like if you want to refresh the page and see new opportunities for example you know here we have the current arbitrage bets or here we have on the positive ev page we have the current mathematically profitable bets if you want to refresh these opportunities you literally just hit the refresh button it's pretty simple so we'll continue to go through. So we have another win bet, positive expected value parlay. We have Jets minus two puck line on Caesars, 500 bucks. We have under 207 in the 76ers game, under 225.5 in the Hornets game. So we can go here and I'll try to figure out where that was. So you can see, I'm not sure if I'll be able to find it in here. It's somewhere in here. Here we can see, oh no, that's the UTSA game. But it's somewhere in here. We found it on the Odds Jam Plus EV page. Here it is. Philadelphia 76ers versus Orlando Magic. Under 207, when bet was giving you minus 110, direct arb to pinnacle, sharpest bookmaker out there, which was all the way down at minus 132. So mathematically profitable bet, profit margin of 5.48%. We took it. Um, and I think the line moved a little bit against us afterwards. So we have Notre Dame plus 8.5 or plus 5 Point spread, college basketball, DraftKings, TCU minus 8.5 first half, college basketball tonight, DraftKings, Caesars has a super boost. Uh, let's see if I can find this. So right here, Washington to win and Taylor Heineke, one plus passing touchdown boosted to plus 150. We took that for the maximum of 25 bucks. Then we have extreme betting limits on BetMGM. I mean, these are very inconsequential to you know, the profit and loss we'll be showing here. But I do think it um, is useful to see how low some of these betting limits can go is BetMGM for uh, Cal Moneyline. So that's college football championship game. Um, they, limited our, they limited our bet size to 882, made too much money off them. And we got the point spread too, Cal minus three, and they only gave us $6.20. Um, then we have a few more plays on the Magic, plus 15.5, plus 16.5 on MGM, Saints money line, heavily limited, 1076. And then we have North Carolina Central on FanDuel for 221.35. So these are the bets we have. These are the track bets we have. You can kind of see them all in here. And again, you can just refresh the Odds Jam Plus EV page, which is where I'm finding all of these bets. 
just by hitting this refresh button, you can you know select your state. You can tailor around your settings to just incorporate the books you use if you don't have them all. Um, and here we can see like you know Notre Dame plus five. We said we had that on DraftKings uh, right here. Notre Dame plus five. We got that minus one hundred five for five hundred and twenty five bucks and twenty seven cents. And you can see it on Caesars um, or on Odds Jam. Caesars, it's now all the way down to minus 110 on Caesars, which is still a good bet, which makes us a lot happier with our minus 105. So we can see if there's any other good bets out there we want to place real quick and add to this list. Um, not really. It doesn't really look like it. We already have some Jags, you know, plus 14, we said, at minus 110 odds. So we'll skip over this. And again, all these bets were just found on, you know, one of the odds jam betting tools, most likely the plus EV page or the arbitrage page. And, you know, we got Bills versus Patriots. We said plus 100. It moved down all the way to minus 110, which is still a good bet, right? And all we're doing in these videos is really just looking for line discrepancies. This plus 105 right here, which is why we incorporated it in our win bet parlay. Um, things like that. So we have you know, a few thousand dollars bet tonight. Hopefully these bets work out. If you have any questions about sports betting, we'll continue to track our profit and loss. All these plays were posted before the game starts. And again, if you have any questions about sports betting, sharp betting, anything at all, you can reach out to us at Oddsjam and we appreciate your time. Thanks so much.